so first off, both of you have actually done multicam sitcoms in the past. Uh, how did that experience play into being a part of Reboot? It was really exciting. I'm the set of Reboot, the fake one, um, was actually the same set from Last Man Standing. No it's way. our living room. So it was very, very meta for me to walk on to the set that I had just worked on. Um, the same front door and everything. It was actually very meaningful and nostalgic for me. Um, I do think I've learned a, most of my lessons from both shows I've been on in terms of comedy, just being brave and bold. Um, so it's just an honor to have an opportunity to implement all of those lessons. For me, it reminded me this one scene where uh, we actually had a live studio audience that they brought in and we did some scenes in front of them. And what I remembered when filming that is how great it is to know if your joke works in the moment. Because when you're, when you're filming a single cam show, you, you, you feel it, you, you, kinda, you can kind of judge it for yourself. And um, of course you have great directors and showrunners that help make sure you know when things are working or when things aren't working. But with, with a live studio audience, the amazing thing is, you know, if you knock it out of the park, you know it because they laugh. And if, if the joke doesn't quite work, you hear it as well. Um, and so I missed that. because And I didn't realize that's something that I've missed until we, we did the fake multicam shoot. And then I was like, oh, that was a, that's a fun thing to have. Sure. And uh, even just from the trailer, you know, it seems like both of your characters are maybe a little lacking in like self-awareness. Uh, so how is it to play that, especially if you have scenes together? I think the scenes together, especially we live in our own little Disneyland <laughs> um, and just kind of go with it. And um, it makes it in my opinion, really light and fun and a place that I'd love to live in in, in everyday life. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> ignorance is bliss. Sure. And, uh, you know, the trailer, I know there's that shot of you guys riding on the bikes, um, but it doesn't, it doesn't say too much about your characters, like how they interact. Can you, what can you say about, about Zach and Elaine and, you know, how they might get along? Oh. Ooh. Um, yeah. with, with spoilers or without spoilers? <laughs> Have you seen it? Where uh, without spoilers. Without spoilers. Uh do you do you want to take this one? <laughs> okay. Uh <laughs> I would say that Zach and Elaine um uh both uh are missing things in in their lives and experiences that they need to have. And um what is what is cool about whenever they 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 see each other is that they kind of can kind of trade things that they're, that they're better at um, and that they, that they have kind of the skills they have acquired and that, that develops into a really fun storyline. Was cool. that big enough? Fun, unexpected. Yeah. I think that was great. And uh, finally, what, what made you both want to be a part of the show? I, I, I want to be part of the show. As soon as I read this, the script, it said Steve Levitan on it. And I was said, I'm in, I didn't even have to go past that. <laughs> uh, he's just so good. I mean, his his track record's incredible. And I'm just also a huge fan of his way of making shows. I love all the shows he's made. Um, and uh, I, the, the idea of spending time with him on set sounded like a, a, a dream environment to work on in a comedy. Um, so, and, and then seeing the other cast members and then reading the script and falling in love with it and realizing that this script is something that I would dream of doing, even if none of these people were involved. It just felt like, it, it was such a no brainer. There was, there was, I, I just wanted to be a part of the team. That was the thing that I was wanting to be a part of. I just thought if I could just be on this team and playing on it, cause it felt like I was part of uh, like the, the, the bulls in the nineties. Cause it's just an all-star team. <laughs> and even if I had to just toss them water on the sidelines, I'd do it. Right. For me, I was just like, I just would love a job. And then the <laughs> fact that the job was a Steve Levitan project was like the biggest gift. And similar to what Killam said, they kept announcing more people within the cast and the dream just kept getting bigger and bigger. And I couldn't be more grateful. 